Right, hi, I'm Mike Dennison from the University of Maryland, and I personally think the lecture gets a bad rap from a lot of college students. Um, a lot of people get caught up in the idea that it's like, oh, it's the 21st century, we need all this fancy technology to make a good lecture, and honestly, you don't. You just need a good lecturer. I've had, class, I've had lecture classes where I'm on Facebook the whole time doing other things or maybe even doing work for other classes. And then I've had, le I've had lectures where I'm on the edge of my seat, listening, hanging on every word, and probably laughing at something. So, it's not the medium that needs to change. Just that uh, if you're going to stick to a lecture format, just make sure you're good at it. Either throw out enough information that you can't possibly afford to ignore the professor. I'm more likely to pay attention if I feel like your class is challenging. And unless you're and not just try to fill my time with something I already understand. Or at least be charismatic. Crack jokes. Um, give me weird stories, funny examples. You don't have to reinvent the wheel to get me to pay attention. You just have to be good at your job. One of my professors said that there's an unwritten agreement between student and professor. Uh, the, the student has to, it's the student's job to show up and pay attention and be engaged, but it's the professor's job to offer engaging content, make it worth our engagement, and I think a lot more college professors sh should kind of follow this creed. And honestly, if they do that, the lecture will be just fine as a medium, and obviously it doesn't work for every class, but somet sometimes it is the most effective way to teach, and I don't think that it's nearly as bad of a teaching style as a lot of people say it is.